There's never been a candle that aligns your physical body to your spiritual side. Each scent corresponds to a specific chakra point. Lavender is associated with a crown. That aroma gives us a higher state of consciousness. Green tea lemongrass helps your third eye to gain clarity of thought during meditation. Seven candles, seven scents, seven chakras, seven ways to balance yourself. Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. How are you? Before we start, I just want to tell everybody, um, if you have made any order at eatreadlove.me, we are just moving to another warehouse. So expect a slight delay on your orders. We do get hundreds and hundreds of order and it's going to take time for us to catch up a little bit. I do keep everybody posted on Instagram at Salvadora about it. So if you've made any purchase, um, you can get updated there. Okay. So thank you very much for your patience. Let's begin with a Libra. Okay. So I'm doing like the two spreads. I used to do this uh, and I'm just bringing it back. Bring it back. Sing it back. So let's see for my Libra. I'm hearing blossoming abundance, which I haven't used that deck. Oh, where is my deck? I use I remember that card has a blossoming abundance. So probably a lot of money is coming towards you, which we can all use, Sal. We're not gonna say no to graces. Yes. Okay. We're gonna do two people here, okay? Um, I'm seeing here where you I'm I don't know, I'm seeing pipes. Okay. So you might need to check the plumbing. Okay, um, or drainage is never good to have a stagnant water at home. That is never good. Okay, um, so make sure you check your pipes. Okay, now if you're a bro and we say check your pipes, you might be shooting blanks. Okay, so we might need to get checked up by. Now you can't go to um OBGYN because that's for the the little thingy, the other thing, the little thingy. <laughs> What do you do for the guys? I'm not sure who you're gonna the Ghostbusters. Okay, <laughs> who you're gonna call the Ghostbusters house because they always ghost anyway. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, so you might need to get some checkup on that. Okay, um, I'm just picking that up, but nothing to worry. I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not here to give you health advice. I'm not a doctor. I only look like one. Oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> here we go. Let's see. Ten of swords. <laughs> I think you need the healer. Okay. <laughs> Ten of Swords. The Libra right now is having what we call... <sighs> okay. Feeling like this is it. Okay. There's no way going around this with the Ten of Swords. Um, this is feeling like the world has pressed you down. People you've trusted has betrayed you. People... Oh, but it's all over though. It's done. Like, it's done. So you're not going through this anymore you're actually getting over it because then there's the horizon, right? This is the end of a traumatic experience with regards to relationship. Everything has been said and done. Luckily, the tarot didn't create an 11 of swords. Then we're all in trouble. Yes? Okay. So 10 is the outcome. 9 is the, the completion. Okay. Results are in the 10. So as a result of all your worries and stress... Um, you know, it led you nowhere but to just say, enough. I'm done. I don't want to think about this anymore. This is when you surrender. Mm -hmm. Surrender. Okay. Now, I see here with the Ten of Swords, um, there is a lot of issues that came to surface instantly. Okay. King of Cups. Which I would believe, like, the issue was, like, you love hard, you love deep, and then you hurt, of course, deep because you've invested so much with the King of Cups and the Ten of Swords. Um, you gave it all. That's what it looks like. King of Cups and the Ten of Swords. You poured out your feelings to this person only to find yourself victimized by them. Okay? So it's a little tricky. Okay? A little tricky. Who's having spaghetti? Okay, because I'm feeling spaghetti, but it's like it's inside my stomach already. <laughs> I can't eat beef. Don't eat... The... Is it vegan spaghetti? <laughs> this is interesting because normally I would smell it. Now I feel it. 
Ooh, that's a big serving. <laughs> so I can live vicariously to you. <laughs> I can eat beef. Don't eat spaghetti. <laughs> On top of spaghetti. Mm -hmm. Down your my poor meatball. <laughs> yes, okay. King of Pentacles. See, there are there's a lot of things that I cherish that I, with my gifts because I can feel the heartache and I can feel dessert. I can feel spaghetti okay, of people. So King of Pentacles here. Um, you're somewhat similar to the um, Divine Feminine, so I highly suggest watching that because there's two cards that comes in that came in there. Okay. So I'm not just an intuitive. I am experimentative. I feel it. <laughs> the King of Pentacles, um, this is how much you invest in relationship. You really are the more masculine energy. Um because the masculine comes in the zodiac, you know, um, the odds, one, three, five, odd number are masculine, even is the feminine. So two, four, six, those are um, feminine. Would you believe Scorpio is feminine? <laughs> Just saying, I couldn't believe. <laughs> Would you believe Saturn also is not masculine? Okay. Jeez, the world is upside down ever since I found that out. Okay. So anyhow, um, the King of Pentacles, those are just my little side notes. With the King of Pentacles here, you're a masculine energy um, because it, it appears, uh, Libra, you are an odd number. It's seven, right? So if a Scorpio is, mascu is a feminine, you're a masculine. So in relationship, this is your you know ascendant a placement, a moon placement. Yeah. Um, also, you are the one who is in charge, the bills, the house, responsible. You know, being responsible is the king of pentacles. I know I will sound boring, but I really love being responsible. <laughs> I'm one of those. It, like if I finish a laundry and fold it, accomplish, clean the house, like I feel so proud. <laughs> I'm a boring person, I swear. Oh, like, I really enjoy it. <laughs> like, I can do it for days. <laughs> Lately, I've been loving doing the dishes. I don't know why. <laughs> like, I can just do it. Yeah. Adulting and thriving. Nine of Wands. Uh -huh. um, you need to learn how to separate your energy um, with this person because it appears like you have been victimized. Nine of Wands, Ten of Swords. You've been hurt so many times by them. And uh, having the nine of wands is you will develop trust issue. Mm -hmm. um, like never going to fall in love again. Never going to open up to anyone. That's why you have the walls being built over there. Okay. And a lot of people will coach you on that also because those are the naysayers. Your friend's family will tell you the same thing. It's like, yeah, you should never trust. You see, you see, the people that you surround with encourages that energy also. Okay. So they're your supporters. Okay. Let me see here. Let me switch that. The lovers. Okay. This is the person. Okay, so strong, magnetic, sensual, intimate, passionate is the lovers. Okay. So that might be their energy towards you. Okay. But the challenge of the lovers is they're not together. They're not holding hands. There is separation here. The de the the devil, the volcano over there reflects the intimacy because that's actually the climax of you know like it being intimate. Um, one person looking at the the masculine looking at the feminine in lustful ways, while the feminine is looking for ethereal spiritual kind of connection. Okay, so it appears that this person has have that with you both the spiritual and the lust. Okay. Okay. And then also in your Navamsha, if you have odd even like that, same thing because that's who you are inside. So then it would show that you are the feminine or masculine in the connection. Okay. So it never, it was never, it was, it was never about the genitalia, who's the feminine and masculine, with regards to energy. Five of Pentacles, the person does not give to you okay, as much as you would have liked because they're now not talking to you. I feel like the person could have been like, love bombed you intense, the lovers is there, tells you everything, and then 
shuts down. So they're a switch. Okay, on and off with you. Okay, on and off. For me, off with their head if they're on and off. Okay, that was in the past life. Okay, which is yesterday. <laughs> That's what it is, you know. So they ghosted you now, not giving you any kind of reciprocity with the Five of Pentacles. So shut down, suffering in silence though. But for you, it's just like, this is over, Ten of Swords. Once... Once they have declared this, where they're not gonna, you know, or they're they're not responding to your message, that was the ultimate betrayal for you. So you become the ultimate warrior. <laughs> no, just the Andre the Giant, <laughs> King of Pen, Knight of Pentacles. So they stop. They're not invested. They look away. Actually, this person has totally turned um everything around from being all about you, um talking to you like they were really invested, and now they're turning themselves back okay, away from you. I'm not sure what happened, but this person has really taken everything. Okay, A little bit harsh with the Taurus energy there. Gemini is here, Capricorn, and then you got Scorpio. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like they are waiting for a reaction from you. What will the Libra do if they went MIA, missing in action. Um, I feel like it triggered you to say, no, red flag, ten of swords. But this is a test. Someone is putting you to a test where, um, how would you react? What would you do? Okay, Because they're waiting, seven of pentacles. This person is waiting. It feels like it's a game then. It gets tricky. Then ten of swords is a game. They're playing mind games here. You know, for me, if, like, if you want to play games, then we'll do Xbox or PlayStation, but don't play mind games, right? Knight of Swords, Three of Swords. Oh, dear. Okay. I feel like this person will come to surface, will tell you, actually, like, they are breaking up with you. If this hasn't happened, they might. Knight of Swords with the Nine of Wands, but you were prepared. You know that this person has a tendency to be nasty temperamental when they don't get what they want mm -hmm. they didn't get a reaction or a response five of pentacles three of swords it hurt them because they thought you love them a little bit immature with this person mm -hmm. not a little bit a lot okay to be honest so expect a message from them about like how they feel degraded by you okay so we switch they're the victim <laughs> i mean that's what they're saying so because you are just claiming your power here and they didn't like the way that you responded. Like you just sat down there, owned your truth and says like, well, if this is over, this is over. You didn't get triggered. All right. Well, let me continue this reading. Link down there in the description box below for the extended to watch the full extent of the reading. Um, thank you very much for everybody who has tuned into this channel and also follow me on Instagram at salbiadora. Download my app, Eat, Read, Love, both available in Apple and Android. And also sign up to my newsletter for your free weekly horoscope. I'll see you guys again. Bye.